So, backlash is this Sunday. And a hometown boy, Jinder Mahal. Yeah, he's a hometown boy. He's from, well, he wrestled mostly in Calgary and Edmonton. So he's technically a hometown boy. He was formerly called Tiger Raj Singh. It'll be interesting to see if the guy actually wins the title this Sunday against Randy Orton. Because it'll be the second time a hometown boy wins the main title. Well, the main, main title because nobody else from here has won it. And no, the World Heavyweight Championship doesn't count because Chris Benoit won that. And it's not the main title. I'm talking about the WWE title. And if Jinder Mahal wins that shit, it'll be amazing. Because everybody here is rooting for him. Because, like, hometown boy, man. He's a freaking hometown boy. Also, Tyler Breeze is a hometown boy as well. Once called Matthias Wild here. If he wins tag team champions, that'd be cool. But, fuck, he's Tyler Breeze. That gimmick is horrible. Horrible! Ah... Uh, but yeah, it'd be cool to see Tyler Breeze, Mateus Wild, win tag team gold. And what's up with Shinsuke Nakamura? They're completely fucking over him. Not having a match at all, calling him the artist known as Shinsuke or something. The artist named Shinsuke? What the hell is it called? I don't know. And he's going against Dolph Ziggler. Is it me? Or every time you see Dolph Ziggler now, you just get really, really mad of what it could have been. Because Dolph Ziggler's a really talented guy. And he's been jobbed out left and right to the point that whenever you see him on TV now, you're just so mad that he's on there. It's like, fuck, go away, man. You're not going to do anything. He's become like Rey Mysterio because he gets injured so much. Like, people just stop giving a fuck about Rey Mysterio. But poor Dolph Ziggler, man. It's come to that point where, like, every anytime you see him on TV, you're just being, ah, why is this guy still here? Why? Why? I don't know, man. I love Dolph Ziggler, but god damn. It's come to that point now, wherever you see him on TV, you just get frustrated that he's still there. And Mojo Raleigh. <laughs> Wins the Andre the Giant Battle Royal, which means nothing, of course, but yeah, I haven't done anything with him. Holy shit, at least they did something with Baron Corbin when he won it, which didn't mean anything. As for Baron Corbin, he sucks as a wrestler, but even sucks more as a talker, man. Have you heard this guy talk? He sounds so tame. He's like, I'm gonna get you. He needs a manager or something, someone to... He needs a mouthpiece. Get, put him with Paul Heyman or something. Let Paul Heyman do the talking. Because Baron Corbin by himself cannot speak whatsoever. So yeah, Ty Dillinger on the pre-show. Oh God, I feel so sorry for Ty, man. Because yeah. You know, as soon as he made it to the SmackDown roster, I was happy that he finally made it to the big time, but... They were not going to use him, right? Because, you know, anytime you get the main people to go on the main... Not the main... Anytime anybody from NXT goes to the main roster, they're pretty much doomed. Case in point, Ascension. Pretty much jokes now. VOD villains became jokes, and one of them is gone. Simon Gotch is gone. And Aiden English is just being a pussy on TV, like crying and singing... Ah, uh, Tyler Breeze goes on the SmackDown roster, or, yeah, becomes, uh, uh, basically Letty and Lodi 2.0, which is weird. Who else made it to the main roster? Ah, uh, I, I can't think of anyone. Hideo Tommy though, he's still on NXT, though. Did you see Hideo Tommy like, at the end of the thing when Nakamura was saying goodbye because he was going to the main roster? Everybody was happy, and you can see Hideo Atami just has this pissed off look on his face going like this. Man, he was thinking, it could have been me, man, it could have been me, but I get injured way too much. But yeah, imagine if Hideo Atami went to the main roster. He'd be fucked, because like, it, the, the track record for Asian superstars, 
Why am I calling them superstars? Fuck that shit. The track record for Asian wrestlers anytime they go on the main roster is just bad, man. Just really, really bad. Orient Express, Kenzo Suzuki. Who else was there? There was too many. I can't remember. Now Shensuke Nakamura, who's not hasn't wrestled in at all since he showed up, and they're giving him a different name. They're, he's no longer called the King of Strong Style. Oh fuck! Because Vince McMahon just likes to fuck people over, because he doesn't care. He doesn't care what you did in Ring of Honor or New Japan Pro Wrestling. Case in point, look at Brian Danielson, called Daniel Bryan. Getting shit canned by Michael Cole every week. Then finally winning the title and losing it to Sheamus at WrestleMania in like eight seconds. The, the fuck kind of bullshit is that? And Sheamus and Cesaro, man, they, they're like an evil group now. The evil tag team, they remind me of the evil versions of the headbangers because of the kilt and shit. Ah, the headbangers. Remember when they showed up for like a couple of weeks in 2017? Who had ever thought the headbangers would ever be back on TV? Holy crap. What else is on the news? Ah, John Cena news. Fuck John Cena. Eric Rowan posts photo of his sister Abigail. Who, is, who, who could it be? Is it the sister of Bray Wyatt? Please let it be a... a Please let it be the Rotundo sister. Cryptic thought about this week's episode of SmackDown Live, which may or may respect claim could be Sister Abigail. Oh, she has a mask on. Wait. Eric Rowan's taking on Luke Harper at Backlash. When the fuck did this happen? What? Okay. I... Ah... Uh. My God, the storyline between Luke Harper and Eric Rowan, it just doesn't make any sense. <sighs> Updated WWE Backlash pay-per-view card. When is it? This Sunday? Oh, shit. All right. WWE title match. Jinder Mahal versus Randy Orton. I hope, I hope that Randy Orton loses this belt, and the hometown boy of Jinder Mahal wins it. Even though it is confusing on what the fuck Jinder Mahal is doing on TV, because it's weird seeing him on TV all of a sudden, because he used to be on the three-man band. Then comes back and has a feud with Rusev. Rusev Udria. Rusev Machka. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, hell, I can't do it. And all of a sudden he gets ripped like a motherfucker and has abs and shit. All of a sudden he has a title shot. Okay. Well, he is a hometown boy from here. I hope he wins a title. Or, I don't know. It's kind of weird. It is really weird. Alright, SmackDown tag team title match. Tyler Breeze and Fandango. Breezango versus the Usos. Hometown boy is Tyler Breeze, Mateus Wild. I'd love to see him win the title, but not really because he's with Fandango. I, oh my god. I, uh, I really don't want to see Brizango win the tag team titles, but Usos are not that great of tag team champions either. Ever since they turned heel, they're kind of boring. They haven't done much, is what I'm trying to say. United States title Kevin Owens versus AJ Styles. Oh shit. How AJ has fallen down the ladder. But you kind of... Well, is it really surprising that AJ went down the ladder this far? Because... Wins a WWE title. Gets beat by... Uh, fucking James Ellsworth th three times. They make his title run look like a joke. Which they did. Loses it. Is the opening match at WrestleMania, which is sad, but it was a good match. But oh, how low he went on the card, and now he's in a United States title picture. Fuck. Okay. I guess AJ Styles has to win 
to further the bruise on it. To further the goddamn bruise. <laughs> Damn it. SmackDown Women's Champion, Naomi. <laughs> eh, Charlotte Flair, yay. Oh, have you seen her naked pictures? <laughs> Becky Lynch, yay. Tamina Snuka, yay. Carmella, uh. And Natalia, oh. All right. Natalia. I like Natalia. She's very talented. But it's come to that point now where I notice that Natalia's there just to get the other young ladies over. Natalia's become the big show in Kane now. She's just there to put people over it. How sad it has it gotten to that point where Natalia is just there to uh, put people over. Because Natalia has been fucked over way too many times and god damn it. It just pisses me off. It just does. Poor Natalia, man. But but she's she's making money. She's happy. Uh so yeah. Oh yeah, Naomi. We wins the goddamn women's title in her hometown of Houston. When where was this WrestleMania? I kinda forgot. And she wins it in her own hometown. Wasn't she injured? But she had to beg and plead to get into that thing, and goddamn she won it. Like uh, Damn it. So, yeah, Naomi is the champion. Who's going to... Ah, I guess Charlotte Flair is going to win. But I'd like to see Becky Lynch win. But Charlotte Flair, you know, is going to win it. Because, woo! I don't mind it. It's just she's Charlotte Flair. She's been amazing. She's been amazing. Yeah, you know she's been amazing. All right. Shansuke Nakamura versus what the fuck are you still doing here, Dolph Ziggler? Shansuke will win. If Dolph Ziggler wins this, you know there's something wrong there. Because Dolph Ziggler has become the Rikishi of today's generation. And you know, the Rikishi back in the day when he was just being jobbed out left and right. Yeah, those days, that's what Dolph Ziggler is now. Shensuke Nakamura. He'll win. He will win. Sami Zayn versus Baron Corbin. When the hell did this happen? Huh, I'm confused. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to say Baron Corbin will win because they're making him into a monster heel. They're trying to make him like into something big and Sami Zayn is just losing left and right because he pissed off somebody. Damn it. So Baron Corbin, Baron Corbin will win. Eric Rowan versus Luke Harper. Where the fuck did this match come from? Does anyone care about this match? No, not at all. I don't really care who wins this match. It's, this match is not going to have any kind of heat at all because like the crowd will be dead. This is the bathroom break match. I swear. I swear. So Luke Harper versus Eric Rowan. Okay. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he waddles, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. And my mother said you can have none. Eric Rowan will win. Because uh, Eeny, meeny, miny, mo decided. If anyone cares, kick off pre-show. Pre Ada English versus Ty Dillinger. I ain't watching that shit. Because I never watched the pre-show. Uh, Ada English will win. Because Ty Dillinger will... Be jobbed out. The Perfect 10 loses all the time. Modern day Mr. Perfect. Poor tie. Very, very bad tie. No, not him being bad. I'm just saying I feel sorry for him because, like, you know he's going to lose. He will lose. Uh... Yeah, so that's basically it for the pre-show and anything else. Uh... So, yeah. I'm just gonna end it like that.